Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and today I'm coming at you guys with the second video for my back to school series in 2018. So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 10 back to school goals slash bucket list type things that I made for this school year. So basically all these things are things that I really want to do or accomplish in this school year just to make this a great year for me. And also I hope that you guys can get some ideas for a bucket list slash goals type list for your school year. That way it can be just a great year for you as well. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And without any further ado, let's just get right on into it. So the first bucket list thing and the first goal that I really want to do this year is go to every home football game. So for my school, um, I guess it's like this at any school, I don't really know. There are some games that are away that are pretty far, like 45 minutes to an hour, some of them. And I don't really want to travel that far, so I'm not going to set a goal to go to every football game because that would be unattainable for me. I could not go out of town 45 minutes to an hour on a school night, plus have homework. Plus, have to be in bed and get actual sleep and all that stuff that would not work for me. So, my goal is to just go to every home football game and just to really live it up and to be able to go support my school and just hang out and just have a lot of fun this football season by going to every single home football game. The second goal that I have for this school year is to get a role in my school play. And so, I really love drama and like just the arts and all that kind of stuff. So, for me, I really, really want to try out for the school play and just try to get a role in it. And um, I would love to get like the lead if that's a character that I want, um, or if not, I'll try out for whatever um, character seems like something I would really want to do, and just try to get that. Work so hard at it, and just really put everything into getting a role in the school play. Because to me, drama is just something that I truly enjoy. So I really want to try to get a role in the school play this year. The third thing on my bucket list is to go watch at least one volleyball game with my friend Madison and Anna Grace's and then one volleyball game with my friend Macy's. So basically I just want to go see at least one volleyball game of each of theirs this like volleyball season as it starts. So the fourth thing on my bucket list is to share my faith with at least two people this school year. So I really want to live out my faith every single day in this school year and just every single day even in summer. I just want to live out my faith every single day period. But I specifically want to talk about my faith and just share my faith through conversation not just through actions with at least two people in my school. And I just not only want to talk about my faith with them but also pray for them and just continually ask God to just work in their lives because I know that I cannot bring about change at all. Like it's not me that brings about the change. It's completely holy God that brings about the change in their life. And so I just want to pray that God can use me to share my faith with them but that he can really ultimately make the change come about in their life because I know that with Without him, I cannot do anything. Without him, I am nothing. So I just really want to be able to share my faith with people, but have God ultimately lead it. Have God just there to guide me and to just take the lead in this situation. And I do really, really want to just be able to try and share my faith with two people this school year. That's something that is so near and dear to my heart, and I really, really want to be able to do that this school year. The fifth goal that I have for this school year is to read at least 30 books from the first day to the last day. I want to try to read 30 books and I average that out so that would be about three books per month with how long we're in school. And so I think that is very attainable for me because I love to read so I really want to try to read at least 30 books this year. The sixth thing on my bucket list is to get an A in Algebra 1. And to me I've always tried so hard to do well in my classes and so hard to get A's but this year I'm doing Algebra 1 which is a very complicated class for my age. Um, and so I just feel like for me I want to be able to really work towards getting an A in that class because I know that it's going to be challenging. I know that some things are going to be really hard and it's going to be stressful and all that kind of stuff but I really want to put everything towards working hard in that class and everything towards getting an A in that class because to me that is something that I know will be challenging but I know I can do if I just work at it. Another bucket list item that I have for this year is to take care of my body with healthy eating and exercise. And no, I'm not doing this because I want to lose weight or to look pretty or look skinny or whatever. I'm doing this because I know that, that I'm called to do this in the Bible. In 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20, God says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. So, 
I mean, I know he's not calling you to put on makeup or whatever, but he is calling you to take care of your body because God has blessed us. And we are so blessed that he made us, that he cares for us and he loves us for who we are. But because of that, we need to take care of our bodies. And so it is very biblical to work out and to eat healthy. And even though it's okay to treat yourself to ice cream every once in a while, we don't need to just sit there eating junk food all the time. We don't need to sit there not working out because that is not biblical. And to me, I want to strive to do everything that God calls me to do. And no, I'm not perfect. Some days I'm not going to work out. And that is totally fine to take a break every once in a while. But I will try to work out at least four times a week, every week that I can, just because I know that God calls me to take care of my body. And that is what I want to do because I want to honor him in every way that I can. So basically this school year, I want to try to work out four times a week and eat healthy and just really try to take care of my body. So the eighth thing that I want to do this school year is to banish self-doubt. And basically, in case you didn't know, self-doubt is like a lack of confidence in yourself. And I know that a lot of girls experience this, a lot of guys experience this, just a lot of people experience lack of self-confidence. And I feel that it's something in our world that so many people deal with, but we shouldn't. And I know that's easier said than done, but like God tells us that we shouldn't be afraid that we should be strong and courageous because he is with us. The Lord will be with us wherever we go. So whenever we are having to get up in front of a class and present something, be confident in yourself. Whenever you have to, you know, go walk those hallways, be confident because of who God made you to be. Because God made you in his perfect plan and he made you exactly how you're supposed to be. And so just keep that in mind throughout the school year. That way you can hopefully banish self-doubt as well because I know that it's such a big problem in our society today. The ninth thing on my bucket list for this school year is to just hang out with my best friends as much as possible. I really want to just hang out with them any chance I get, whether it's having a sleepover, going to the movies, going out to eat, whatever it may be. I want to try to hang out with my best friends as much as possible. So pretty much any time that I have the opportunity and there's a situation that arises where I can go and hang out with my best friends, I just want to be able to say yes to that situation, to just cherish all of these memories with my best friends. I want to be able to just really enjoy this amazing year that I have and to be able to go out and do things with my best friends and just spend great quality time with them um, through any type of activity. I don't care what it is. I just want to be able to spend time with my best friends, grow with them, and just be able to have fun with them and just really be able to spend lots of time with my best friends this school year. And the last thing that I want to do this school year and that is on my bucket list is just to volunteer. Whether it's, you know, at the library, at the animal shelter, anywhere. I want to try to volunteer at least once a month in my community, somewhere that I see needing help, just to really try to um, spread God's love, spread just the light of God to those around me. And I know that that is something God calls us to do. He calls us to go out and be a light. He calls us to go out and serve. He calls us to be like Jesus. And would Jesus just stay at home, do what he has to do, and just, you know, live his own life? No, he would go out and help people. He would take time out of his Saturday, whenever he could be sleeping in, to go to the animal shelter and volunteer. He would take time out of his Friday night, instead of going to a sleepover, to go maybe babysit a neighborhood kid that you don't even get paid for. He would do those kind of things. And so I want to too. I want to follow his example like we are called to do in the Bible. And I want to just go out volunteer at least once a month just to truly follow what God calls us to do, which is mission work, serving, following Jesus, just all those things that you can do just by going out and serving in your community at least once a month. And so for me, that is one of the most important things on this bucket list is to just really go out, serve in the community, and just help others in the community. Okay guys, so that was my back to school bucket list video and I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you've not already. Also, comment down below if you have any personal goals that you're gonna be setting this school year that would maybe others can scroll through the comments and find some really good goal ideas for them to personally set this school year. So anyway, like I said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next time. Bye!